let's talk about idioms today what are idioms idioms are those short sentences they are phrases they're not really sentences they are short phrases which have specific meaning to themselves so each idiom has a meaning of its own okay you use them along with the other part of your sentence to add a little drama to your sentence now i have a homework for you what you have to do in the homework today is that you have to use at least three out of the 12 that i'm going to tell you today okay and form a sentence of your own the first one on the list is other fish in the sea so have you heard something like this in hindi ek gaya dusra aayega hmm that is what um, plenty of other fish in the sea means okay so it is generally used when there is one person who has left and you're trying to say that there you will find several others just like him or maybe better we selected vikas for the position but he left no worries there are plenty of other fish in the sea okay something like that let's move to the next one in the bag in the bag is used when you have to express the victory of somebody to be obvious an hour before the polling stations closed the victory seemed to be in bag for candidate a so in the bag obvious victory next one step on someone's toes step on someone's toes which means you are interfering you are annoying the other person by interfering in their matter i could have offered my advice to you but i am scared it might feel like i'm stepping on your toes hold good so if a statement or a theory is valid or applicable even now okay after a period of time you will say that theory holds good the author's version of the event still holds good so that means it is still applicable it is still true it is still correct valid murder something murder something is generally used in context to food or a drink so when you say you could murder something that means what you want to really say is that you're so hungry or you're so thirsty that you could murder some things i am so thirsty that i could murder a cold drink right now get a raw deal get a raw deal means that somebody has been treated unfairly or badly when john lost his job after putting in all the hard work that went into the merger he really got a raw deal not getting anywhere not getting anywhere is not having not receiving any progress this one is very common it's very common i'm sure you must have heard somewhere and you should start using it it will sound right it will sound quite dramatic and you will sound like a native speaker i have been looking for this math solution for quite some time but i'm not getting anywhere next one fall short so fall short would mean something is inadequate it is not up to the mark or as per the expectations right new lipstick that i got from mac fell short of my expectations stickler for the rules stickler for the rules i have personally heard a lot in all these netflix series and everywhere somebody who is very um observant of the rules and demands the same from the others also okay somebody who strict about the rules my former boss was a stickler for rules fixed in your ways that means a person who does not like change okay who does not want a change in the normal way of doing his things my dad is very fixed in his own ways he does not like any change quiet as a mouse quiet as a mouse would mean somebody or something which is extremely silent the burglar was as quiet as a mouse when he moved around the house in the night like two peas in a pod so you've seen matar ki phali hmm that is a pod the phali is a pod okay so the idiom goes as two peas in a pod it is used to tell about the physical appearance of people when they look very much alike okay when they look very similar to each other it wasn't difficult to identify the brothers since they were like two peas in a pod So this is all I've got I guess yeah it's over okay so 12 of them i hope you enjoyed this little lecture with me 
I as always enjoyed a lot. So you let me know if you find these helpful then I will make more of these for you. Okay. Meanwhile you do your homework and you send three sentences to me. Okay. And you send this video to your friends and ask them also to do the homework. I will be back tomorrow because I'm always back. Okay. You take care of yourself. I'll be back. Bye.